Okay, so the very first one is which of the following is not an analog device? So you are given four choices. So you have to decide whether each one of them is an analog device or not. The very first one, we have turn, turn, potentiometer. So this is actually an analog device um, because it allows you for continuous and precise adjustment of your electrical resistance along its limb. So as you turn the knob, it can produce an infinite number of resistant values, okay? So within a specified um, range. So this is the reason why um, it is an analog, because it provides a, a, a smooth and continuous variation in electrical output. And as you know, um, this analog characteristics is going to allow um, for fine-grained control of parameters like volume or brightness, making it suitable for um, applications where a, a continuous range of value is required. So this is definitely an analog device. Thermocouple is also another analog device because um, it produces a continuous, again, and a variable electrical voltage in response. Of course, this time is a thermal, so in response to changes in temperature. So the voltage um, generated by this device, this thermocouple, is, is, is definitely directly proportional to your temperature difference um, between its two adjunction in the device, okay? So that means that um, as temperature changes in your environment, the voltage output of the thermocouple changes again smoothly and continuously the point is continuously making it your analog signal right so this analog output is actually ideal um, for applications where precise temperature measurement and control are necessary then we have audio microphone uh, well this is another analog device because again um, it converts um, variations in sound pressure because it's audio yeah so that's for sound and your sound pressure is your analog signal into a, a, a corresponding electrical voltage or current yeah don't forget voltage is a current which also represents um, an analog um, signal so the microphone's um, diagram moves in response to sound waves creating an electrical signal um, with continuously varying voltages so that accurately reflect the incoming sounds intensity and of course frequency and this analog representation allows for the faithful capture of complex complex audio waveforms making it um, this microphone yeah audio microphone suitable for recording and reproducing sound with um, high fidelity Okay, so this is analog device. So therefore, your D, a light switch, is not an analog device. 
So if you think about uh, your light switch, it is not an analog device because it has only two discrete states, and that's on and off. Um, I have already told you analog devices can have a continuous range of values or states. And this little light switch, yeah, um, simply toggles the light between your two binary states, so making it a digital, yeah, a discrete device.